Get it one, B Asian Dad here. Previously, I did an in depth review of this Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 7th generation. Now, since that video, I've actually upgraded my color calibrator hardware, so I thought I might actually revisit this computer and re look at its screen properties. So, we're going to look at the color and also the brightness of the screen. So, if you haven't actually checked out my in depth review, I'll put a link in the description below. But do check that out after this video. We're going to do an interesting experiment on this Full HD Touch version of X1 Carbon 7th generation. Now we're going to have a, take note of this measurement called current. It is measured in candela per square meter. So 100 candela per square meter equals 100 nits. So at the moment I've got it at 96 and there are actually 10 increments to the screen. So I'm just gonna go down to zero here. So this is point zero, this is the darkest it can go. At the moment you probably won't be able to see, but I'll tell you it's currently sitting at 3.15 candela per square meter. So it's at three nits at the moment. So now we're gonna go through the different increments. So this is increment number one. So at the moment it is sitting now 15 nit. Increment number two, now we're hitting 26 nit. Increment number three, we're now at 39 nit. Increment number four, now we're at 51 nit. Increment number five, we're now sitting at 70 nit. Increment number six, we're now sitting at 96 nit. Increment number seven is 125 nit. Increment number eight, we're sitting at 159 nit. Increment number nine, we're hitting at 220 nit. And increment number 10, which is at its brightest, is sitting at 292 candela per square meter, which is 292 nit. Now, I've also been asked if this instrument is actually based on the actual brightness I'm going to turn down the ambient light and you'll see this shouldn't change. So I'm going to go down to this lower setting on my ambient light. As you can see, it's still sitting around about 291, which is not changing too much. Now I'm going to bring it my ambient light as its maximum. And that's at its maximum. As you can see, it's still sitting at 291. So at the moment, that's not changing between the different ambient light and if I just take this instrument a little bit away from the screen you can see it instantly changes so it is measuring directly for the luminance of the screen there. Now if you find this very interesting or helpful put a comment below and also give me a like to support me. Now while we're at it just to help the photographers and videographers for screen brightness we usually do try to hit our measurements at anywhere between 100 to 120 candela per square meter so I'm just going to bring the, find that point for you guys through how many increments we need to get to that point all right so this is at zero the lowest setting one two three four five six at six, we're at 96 nits, and seven, we're at 125 nits. So really, you'll probably be hitting more closer to six than seven, but that's really up to you guys. But anyway, between six or seven increments of the screen brightness will get you where you want to be for the white point. Now we are color calibrating the X1 Carbon 7th Gen with the x i i1 display. So the screen calibration is now done. So let's have a look at the before and afters from the software. So this is in high key tone. So before and after, it's gone a lot more darker here. But in terms of actual color, it actually hasn't changed too much. Just applied very, from what I can see, just applied very little bit of magenta, but not much. And I'll just go to mid tone. This is before, out of factory, after calibration. Again, it's just gone darker but actual overall of warmness and color and coolness seems to be very similar. And I'm just gonna go to the next one, which is to low key. So this is where it should be even more dark. I expect this one to be. Yep, very dark. But the actual warmness is, hasn't really changed too much. And 
I'm just going to go to Scion. Scion, this is before, out of factory, and after. And as you can see, before and after, the actual blueness hasn't really changed much. So it's actually done very well. And this is magenta before and after calibration. Again, hasn't done too much in terms of changing the color. It has gone a little bit more magenta, but we're not by very, very much, very slightly. And gone to the yellow again before out of factory, after calibration, for and after. And we'll go down to red color. It's before and after hasn't really changed too much again it just seems to be a lot more darker the actual color itself hasn't been changed too much so this is after before after for green and we'll go down to blue this is before and after before and after again this doesn't seem to have changed too much besides just the a little bit less brighter. That's basically it. Now I also tested out the color gamut coverage of the screen and it came out at, for sRGB and it is 93.1% here. And then we've got the Adobe RGB and that's sitting at 68.1%. So that's what you're looking at for the color gamut coverage of the full HD touchscreen. As an added bonus, I'm going to share this color profile of this full HD touchscreen with you all. Now that was calibrated using my XRI i1 display. Now be wary, this is running off my ambient light, but at least this gives you a very good starting point. Now, if you do work with colors professionally, I do advise you to get your own hardware color calibrator. They're definitely worth their money. Now, I'll put the link in the description below for you to download, so be sure to check that out if you're very interested. If you find this video informative or enjoyed it, give it a like. If you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button, bottom right hand corner of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.